Thank you for joining us with another edition of Down to the Wire. Today we're joined by Ashley Hudon. Ashley, welcome. Thank you for having me. This Sunday is a big day in the industry all across the country. It's uh, National Caretakers Day. It's a joint operation between all the racetracks, all the horsemen's associations, and Standard Bread Canada. So let's talk about grooms. We've got Ashley, and we were to have some others, and that still may happen. But to me, over the I've been working in the backstretch for over 35 years, and the grooms don't get enough credit, and they are the most passionate people in the whole wide world. I'm going to say you don't get paid a lot. Uh, no, I, uh, dad pays me pretty well. <laughs> In general, they don't get paid a whole lot. It's seven days a week, 24 hours a day uh, on the road. Uh, Ashley lives up in the Edmonton area, coming down here now, going to school. Why do you do this? You know what? I've been born into this industry as dad's been in it for a while, and I've just, I've loved every second of it and to be a part of it and have the horses in your backyard, it's hard for you not to be a part of it. And you can see that. I, I see it in the mornings. The grooms are the, usually the first ones here. They feed. Like I say, it's 24 hours a day. To me, it all culminates in the winner's circle. The look on the groom's face when your horse, your protege, has won that race, that's the culmination of a week's work. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially when you've put in all that work all week and and then they go out and they race their heart out and you know they're trying just as hard and when they win it's, it's, it's an unreal feeling. And another unreal feeling, let's talk about that. So now you've got this horse, you've looked after him, maybe he's a little bit sore and everything. All of a sudden dad comes along and says, Ashley, I know this is your favorite horse but we're going to put him in a claimer or he might be sold. What does that mean? That's tough. It's, it's a very tough pill to swallow but in the same time you know that you have to make money and it's the way the game goes and I mean no one ever wants to have any their favorite horse in a claimer but you just kind of hope for the best and you never know you can gain confidence out of that class and move up out of it so and that's very true it is still a business um, I own a few couple horses just small percentages of them if I was to see my horse standing in Oriana stall here every day and if I was gonna pet it and that you get so attached to it so as a business decision I'm really glad my horses aren't here and yet boy what I'm also missing out on a lot yeah no it's uh, to be back here and work with them is it's a dream come true and it's a privilege because not everybody has the opportunity to do what we do every day and away we go. We now have a third party, Amber Campbell, and I can't keep up with last names anymore, but it's Amber to me anyway. Amber, welcome to the show. We're talking with Ashley here about grooms, groom of the week coming up, or a con not a contest, but recognition on Sunday. Why are you a groom? I just love the horses. It, they are who I am. And there's the, there again is another example of the passion. So, as I said, they really don't make a whole lot of money. They go through the claiming games. They go through horses that are being sold. They work on these horses. Ashley, what is a day? So you show up at, I'm going to guess, 6.37 in the morning. What does your day look like? Uh, usually, I mean, you have to start with your coffee, of course. And then we get our stalls done because I don't like doing stalls. But we get our stalls done and we get the horses harnessed. And then Dad and I head on the track and jog them and train them and by the end of the after that's done we'll put them away and spend extra time making sure that we take care of everything that they're sore on and pamper them and uh, water feed them and that's about all that we do. And what time of day are we now looking at that? Uh, if it's just if we're just jogging we're done at around probably 12 o'clock if we're training usually one or two o'clock because we spend extra time after they're done uh, make sure they put away nice and take care of them. So now today is Wednesday, it's raining, it's no fun again, we seem to be running into this. You've come back now, Amber, what happens tonight? So you've come back now, you've, you've done your work similar to Ashley, I'm ass assuming this morning, now it's race day, what happens? I'm going to go back to the barn, I'm going to get them ready. Uh, I'm going to actually let them go free like it tonight because it's a little muddy, keep their equipment a little bit more clean, less of the limestone on there, the better, and keep them happy, calm, ready to go. And some guy put, makes up the races. I'm, I hate to ask what race you're both in tonight, but what time will you be done tonight? Um, actually in the seventh, so I'm not too bad. Somebody was really nice to me and spaced them out enough so I could look after all three with no help. <laughs> 
And that said, racing in Ontario, so now I see with Woodbine Thoroughbreds racing Friday, and then I think the Standardbreds, they don't finish till about midnight. They all ship to different places. They get home at 2 or 3 and start all over again. It's unreal. I mean, you are basically packing up and doing it all over again, and to be honest, you don't really have a life. <laughs> and that's true, and that's why a lot of uh, couples are made around the racetrack. Um, what, do you get a day off, Amber? No, I do not. My day off consists of helping James. <laughs> uh, I am lucky. I, I get a day off usually on Mondays, so I really take that day to sleep in. <laughs> and, and your situation's a little bit different. You're going to school, so this is kind of a summertime gig, plus the, the um, weekends for you. What, uh, what are you taking in school? Um, I'm taking my accounting degree at Nate, and I'm going to be entering into my fourth year and my final year, and uh, after that I'm looking forward to pursuing that degree and stepping away probably from the horses for a little bit. <laughs> Did either of you have any aspirations of either getting your trainer's license and or driver's license? Trainers? Mm -hmm. Yep. That still could happen? That still could happen, okay. absolutely. Awesome. Um, I like training with dad and jogging, but with my degree that's going to be coming up. I'm looking forward to pursuing that and uh, staying a little more focused on my education. Good for you. Well, in a wrap, I'm going to send out a, um, a pledge, I guess, to or a a challenge, let's put it a challenge to all owners out there. I own 10% of two horses in Ontario. It's not a big deal, I realize that. But how about all of us owners get together and the next time your horse is in to go, how about flipping your, your grooms an extra $20 per horse that day? Um, I know that the grooms get paddocks or there's paddocks usually in on the bills and sometimes if a horse wins there's tips involved. How about this time around we give them all 20 bucks extra this time and I put that out to everybody. Let's make that happen girls. Yeah I'd love to make that happen for everybody that works so hard in the back stretch. You guys deserve it. Absolutely. I agree, totally. And if you watch any race, we used to do the Nat Christie on TV, and if you watch them, uh, the grooms in the paddock, it's unbelievable, the passion. We showed it nationally on TV. If you're out there and you want to watch the winner's circle sometime, watch the winner's circle, but watch the groom. Don't forget about the horse. Just watch the groom. You can sense all the passion going through onto that horse. Their star pupil is just one. Doesn't matter if it's a cheap horse, a good horse, a stake race. Let's do it for the grooms. 20 bucks for, per horse that everybody owns. We'll find out, first of all, if anybody watches this, these shows anyway. Thanks, girls, for coming. Good luck tonight. Good luck in the mud. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Jackson. Until next week, thank you.